guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is going to be a foundation review of this La Prairie Cellular Swiss Ice Crystal Transforming Cream with an SPF 30 in it. So it's basically like a tinted moisturizer um, and it claims to sort of adjust to your skin tone. We shall see. So if you're interested in finding out my thoughts on this, my experience, my whole sort of first day wearing this, then just keep on watching. Okay, so if you guys have been watching any of my videos, I always mention La Prairie and how it is completely out of my price range. It is so expensive, especially the skincare. This was expensive as well. So it was almost like the perfect storm. I had a gift card. Um, Ebates was offering 12% cash back at Neiman Marcus. And then Neiman Marcus was also offering like a gift card if you spent a certain amount. So that was all I needed. So I went ahead and I placed an order for this amongst a few other things which have not arrived yet, but I wanted to focus on this anyway. So um, I actually opened this up yesterday when I received the package because I just wanted to make sure that the um, shade was correct. We'll find out together. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like. It is very beautiful, but it actually makes it very difficult to like read. <laughs> To read what's on there. It is one fluid ounce. Again, it has SPF 30. I believe it's $200. Anyway, I thought that that, it's expensive, but I thought that if it has SPF, if it acts as a foundation and it has skincare benefits, it's actually not that bad. I can also pretty much justify anything. So, you know, we'll leave it there. So anyway, it also comes with this brush. It's not the best brush. It actually has a bunch of bristles that are sticking up. Um, it is definitely synthetic. It's okay. It feels fairly soft um, and it feels uh, dense but not too dense. Um, it's a little bit small for my taste. So I actually whipped out my hourglass uh, brush here and I don't have any sponges or anything because I feel like the texture of this is uh, too thin for a sponge. I think the sponge would just suck it all up. And for a $200 tinted sunscreen, I didn't want any of the product to be soaked up. So. Um, I think what I'll do is maybe start to apply it with my brush. I don't even know if I'm going to bother with this one. It's very small. Um, see how that goes. And then maybe what I'll do is apply the rest of my fingers. We'll see. So it comes with a pump. I'm actually just going to pump some right into my hand and I'm going to, it's very liquidy and I'm going to just sort of apply it around my face like this. Sorry, I had to get my mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in with this brush. So I do think that the shade is working out. So it's going on very, very light. It does feel like a moisturizer. Um, I'm not seeing any sort of, um, I don't know, like sunscreen cast. I do note that the active sunscreen ingredient here, there's two, there's, there is zinc oxide, so there is a physical sunscreen. And then um, the other half of the sunscreen is something that I can't pronounce. And I think that's a chemical sunscreen. So I think it's split half and half. I'll put more information down below if you want to kind of do your own research. Um, but I will put those two active ingredients in there. Because of the zinc oxide, I was wondering if there was going to be a little bit of like a white cast. And I'm not seeing that so far. It is very, it's very fragrant. If you're familiar at all with La Prairie products, it has that same fragrance. I don't mind it too much. I think it's very pretty. I think I like applying this with my hands the best. All right, I'm going to pump one more pump because that was only one and it's very light. So I'm going to see if I can kind of build up the coverage a little bit. It does feel very nice, I have to say. I should mention that I cleansed and moisturized my face before, but I didn't put any primer on or anything like that. Um, I just used my facial oil and my day cream, and that was it. Oh my god, what's my hair doing? I think this goes on really well with my fingers. I think with the brush, I think the brush was just sort of eating up too much of the product. And because I feel like this is uh, like a skincare product, I feel like I kind of have to like work it in with the warmth of my fingers. So that is definitely my preferred method. So I think I got the right shade. So I don't think I mentioned what I got. I got shade, it's number 20 and it's called Nude. I think there's only four shades and at least online, it didn't look like there was that much of a difference between the four shades. So 
That is not great for La Prairie. I really like the finish that it's giving my skin. It's giving it like a really nice satin finish. It's slightly dewy, but not, um, it's not shiny at all. At least I don't think so. I don't know how it's coming across on camera. But it is just, a, you know, like a dull shine, not like a greasy shine. So I like the way this is drying down as well. It's not very tacky. It's not, um, it's not setting down too dry. It's not setting down uh, where it's velvety in any way. It feels very nice. It actually just feels like you put moisturizer on. <clears throat> sort of has that feeling, and it's kind of just slowly sinking into my skin. So, so far I am really enjoying it. It feels great. And I think it has, like the perfect amount of coverage. This is the kind of product that I am looking for, especially when it comes to the summertime. I just want something that's gonna be really nourishing to my skin because I feel like the summer, the extreme months, you know, dead of summer, dead of winter, it's so harsh on our skin because we're either going into like intense heat or intense air conditioning or we're going outside where it's super sunny or it's super cold and super windy. So I love how this is sort of a skincare product um, it feels very very nourishing and the SPF is great it's definitely something I really need to embrace I try to put SPF on every day sometimes it just doesn't make it on and I regret it every time I go outside so if it's built into you know into like my foundation all the better and I like that it's a light coverage you know I just haven't been I don't know I just haven't been really wanting the heavy coverage it's something about the summertime I just feel like it's so uncomfortable. Even if it's a very comfortable formula, like the Laura Mercier that I just tried out, that is an incredibly comfortable formula. It has like a demi-matte finish. It is very full coverage, but something mentally, it just, I don't know, it's just not what I want. But before we make any judgment calls, I do wanna do a whole wear test or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is put on the rest of my makeup and then I'll be doing check-ins and things like that. So I will be right back. All right, so I just finished putting on my makeup. I am loving this so far. It has such a beautiful finish. It's so natural. It's so um, luminous without being greasy looking or you know too dewy or shiny in any way. Um, I used a very, very light hand when I just sort of powdered my face because I did find that you had to set this down. It didn't set completely. Um, so I used a very, very light hand because I didn't want to ruin the light coverage. I also didn't want to kind of ruin the finish and I wanted to get a truer sense of how this tinted sunscreen works kind of all on its own. But anyway, I also didn't want to stray too far from my regular makeup routine because that also wouldn't make sense. I am really, really liking this. It is... Um, really comfortable. It really does feel like a skincare product. It doesn't feel like I am wearing makeup in any way. It feels really, really nourishing. My skin feels softer, which is very rare once you put makeup on. I feel like, if anything, I kind of just hope that my skin feels the same. But my skin actually does feel softer. It's really, it's really pretty amazing. Um, so actually, let me zoom you up close so you can see how it looks on my skin. Okay, we're a bit closer now. You can see that it's like not sinking into any fine lines. It has really smoothed out my under eye area. Uh, my forehead looks smooth. Like everything looks really amazing. And for something that has such a light coverage, I think that's pretty cool. It must have some sort of like blurring effect in there. Um, what I'm also loving is even though it has a physical sunscreen in there, I don't see a white cast at all. Um, I don't know if that's coming across. The I'm using natural lighting as I always do, but I can tell you that I do not see any sort of white cast at all to my face, which I normally do with sunscreen. So, so far I am super duper impressed with it. Not that I'm surprised. I had very, very high hopes for this because it is La Prairie. We know how we feel about La Prairie. I will be back in, I'm gonna try and be back in like four hours. It's about 8.45 right now. Um, I will come back at about 1 o'clock and do a check-in, let you know how it's wearing, and I will see you then. Hey guys, it's about 1 o'clock, and like promised, it's about 4 hours later and I'm doing my check-in. So, I just finished eating lunch, and I realized I probably should have reapplied some of my lip gloss, but I forgot. Anyway, we're here to talk about the tinted sunscreen, and from what I can see, it still looks pretty fabulous. It is, um, I want to say I still have the same coverage. I don't feel like it has faded at all, 
My skin still has like a nice uh, dewy finish, but not greasy, not oily. It's very satin, um, very natural, and I'm liking this so far. I have gone out uh, just once today. Was mainly in the car, but did walk back and forth in the parking lot. And, you know, in the Vegas sun, that's like enough time to be outside for like anything to start melting or whatever. So, so far, so good. I am, I am liking this. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty flawless. And for something that's um, very lightweight, something that really does have light coverage, I can see my skin shining through like on my nose or whatever. It still has this ability to really kind of like blur out, kind of, and like even out my, my skin tone, if that makes any sense. It's actually pretty incredible. Again, like how light the coverage is, yet how even it's making my skin. I don't know if that makes any sense. I am super impressed, and especially for something that has sunscreen in it, to not have any sort of strange looking cast or anything, I am very happy with this so far. I'm trying to give you guys a pretty good up close look here. So I think what I'll do is come back in about five or six, another four hours, and I'll give you my final thoughts. We'll do, you know, a final check-in and everything. So I will see you then. Hey guys, I am back. It is 5 p.m. So it is another four hours later, a total of eight hours since I've applied this La Prairie Cellular Swiss Ice Crystal Transforming Cream with an SPF of 30. Longest name ever. Um, I really really love this uh, tinted sunscreen basically is what it is it has um, you know just a really really beautiful feel to the skin and I love the finish that it gives it is so natural I haven't gotten any oilier um, I haven't no like shine has come through I still just have this very sort of natural kind of glow going on a very sort of satin finish um, and you know before I test these products or before I put them on I don't like to read too much about them except what they are and what they're supposed to do um, but I don't like to read other people's reviews or um, the expectations or a lot of the claims that this makes but um, over the past hour I've been online and just sort of reading up trying to see like if my thoughts are sort of in line with other people's reviews and things. Um, and this seems to have gotten very good reviews. Um, but I find this to be a very light coverage. Um, I wouldn't say it's completely sheer, but you can still see my natural skin underneath it. And I used, as you saw, two pumps. I used one pump and then another. Um, so two pumps in total. Um, but I kept reading that it has a very sort of thick texture and it has a medium coverage I don't find that at all in fact in fact I find the texture of this to be lotiony you know not quite liquidy but it is it will start to run you know if you like kind of tilt your hand um, it is very lotiony and I find it to be a very light coverage I'm sure you could build it up if you want but if you're getting this because it's a tinted sunscreen I don't think it's probably something that you want to build up to a full coverage. That doesn't really make sense to me. I don't even know if you could build it up to a full. I'm sure you could put on another layer and maybe make it close to medium, but I find it to be very, very light. And in fact, the kind of included paperwork, um, it says if you want um, more coverage, use fingertip application versus the little brush that it came with. So I use my fingertips and I don't, I don't find it to be a very medium coverage situation at all. I find it to be light. So um, that is my experience and um, I am here pretty up close with you guys. I don't find that it has kind of deteriorated at all. I don't see that it's breaking up anywhere. I feel like if anything my nose is a little bit shinier than it was this morning. Um, but I think that is to be expected. I've gone out a couple times today. It is 108 degrees outside. I think that's pretty extreme. Um, but I don't see that it has sort of sunk into my fine lines at all. Um, in fact, my forehead looks really good. Usually when I put foundation on, I have very deep expression lines here. And I can see those 
immediately right away. It's something I come to expect. I don't actually hold it against the foundation, but this particular foundation, I feel like it looks, it, it's great. You know, it hasn't really sunk in. It hasn't emphasized them at all. So all in all, I really enjoy it. The only cons I would say is, is its price point. It's $200 for this one fluid ounce. So it is quite expensive. However, um, it being sort of like a three-in-one deal, it's like sunscreen, um, foundation, and skincare all in one. It's actually not too bad. Like I said in the intro, I can pretty much justify anything. But the other con to this is the fragrance. While I like it, I don't think there needs to be any fragrance. Um, I still smell it. So it's very, um, <clears throat> I don't want to say it's very strong because strong scents can sometimes fade over the day. It's just a very potent, it's a very potent fragrance where it has stayed pretty constant all day. So those are my two kind of cons to this, but everything else, pro. I love the way it feels. I love the coverage. I love how it wears. It's so comfortable. And I think um, in terms of it being a sunscreen uh, with you know, with actual zinc oxide in here, I think it, I think it looks great. I, I don't think you can detect that like white cast, even that little kind of weird zinc oxide feeling that you get. I don't detect that at all. I think it's pretty phenomenal. So I love it. This is, I think my new sort of go-to foundation, at least for the rest of the summer. It's like absolutely perfect for the rest of this season and how it's been pretty hot here is just it's just perfect it's like exactly what i was looking for sunscreen something light something nourishing feeling i hope you enjoyed this foundation review so please comment down below if you have any questions if you've used this product and you have some thoughts i would love to hear them uh, please like this video if you enjoy these foundation reviews and please subscribe if you have not already and i will see you in my next video